Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brainbean here again. Extrafy's M4 mouse has been one that's been on my radar for a little while, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get my hands on one during the original release. Now, lucky for me, Extrafy actually reached out to me recently and asked if I would be interested in doing a review of this mouse, which obviously, as you guys can tell, I said yes, because this video is happening. So I know I'm a little bit late to the party on this one, but let's go ahead and take a look at the Extrafy M4. Secret Lab combines best-in-class materials, a plethora of finish options, and industry-leading comfort to provide the ultimate seating experience. With models for users of all sizes and aesthetic tastes, there's sure to be a chair for any setup. Click the link in the description to find out which chair is right for you. Extrafy, Extrafy, Extrafy. I can't say it. I know I'm going to get it wrong at some point in this video, so let's just go ahead and get that out of the way right now. The Extrafy M4 is a lightweight mouse available in five styles, black, white, pink and black, teal and black, or retro, which kind of looks like a Super Nintendo controller. One thing I want to give Extrafy props for is the inclusion of two bonus keycaps that are shine through keycaps, one for the Extrafy logo and one that says GG on it. It's just a nice little touch to throw something like that in the box. And as a keyboard guy myself, I really appreciate that little detail. I always like it when companies offer peripherals in a bunch of different colors and it just adds for more opportunity to have a little bit more personality in your setup and I acknowledge that having multiple SKUs of the same product on the manufacturer side of things does make things a little bit more expensive for them so props to Extrafy for that. Coming in at 69 grams, it's not the lightest mouse on the market but it's certainly light enough to feel nimble in your hands without feeling like a cheap plastic toy. The M4 has a right-handed ergonomic shape that I found surprisingly larger than I was expecting, particularly in the arch at its highest point. Typically I find these lightweight mice to shave off weight by making them a lot more narrow and small, especially for people with larger hands and long fingers, but the M4 provides just the right amount of support and it should make this shape viable for a variety of grips including palm grip. I also really like how deep and contoured the thumb side is. If it were just a few more millimeters wide, I would say that it fits my hand like a glove, but as something that wasn't specifically designed for my hand in particular, it's pretty damn close. I've said this before on the channel, but I'm not a huge fan of the Swiss cheese design on these lightweight mice. But I will say that coupled with the UV coating on the plastic, it does give me a weird satisfying feel, and I could see this being helpful for those of you that do suffer from sweaty hands. Another bonus that I like is that you don't get the noticeable grime that comes with using rubber grips, although you may see some buildup on these holes over time, but during my testing I didn't really notice anything. I do really like the look of the illuminated Extrafy logo in the grip, and I think it's a really smart way to make the most out of that holy design. Now this mouse also is dust and splash resistant, although it does seem kind of counterintuitive with all the holes that are in it, but it will hold up in case you do get a spill in there. Aesthetically, the M4 is a pretty snazzy looking mouse. It comes with a copious amount of RGB with light strips that go around the front and the sides, and it has an illuminated scroll wheel and that logo we talked about in the grip. The M4 does not use any software, but instead has 10 preset lighting effects built into the mouse, including a reactive mode that can be toggled by the dedicated button that's located behind the scroll wheel. Now the lights look nice and vibrant, particularly on the white version with all that light bouncing around on the inside of the mouse, and the presets here are actually pretty diverse and interesting. The M4 is a five button mouse that uses Omron switches, which are fairly standard in gaming mice these days, and these switches are rated to last 20 million clicks. Now personally, I also really like that the thumb buttons are a good size because I like larger thumb buttons, and the contour that I enjoyed on the grip side is also present on these thumb buttons, making them very easy to find and press in a hurry. The scroll wheel has a nice soft rubberized texture to it and the tactility of the scroll wheel is noticeable without being too harsh. The click on the scroll wheel is also pretty good. And for those of you that want the click clack clickety clack test, here is a sound test of the M4. The M4 uses the PixArt 3389 sensor and you can change the DPI setting on the fly by pressing the dedicated button underneath the mouse. 
There's also a colored LED that will change in respect to whichever setting you are on from 400, 800, 1200, 1600, 3200, 4000, 7200, or 16,000 DPI. And there's also a slider underneath the mouse as well from changing the polling rate from 125 to 500 or 1000 Hertz. Now I like that they had the DPI button on the underside of the mouse instead of behind the scroll wheel as it really helps to eliminate accidentally hitting it while you're playing. I've had that happen to me before with certain mice and it really does suck when that happens. The feet are made of 100% PTFE plastic and they slide really well on both cloth and hard surfaces. I also really like the little detail of having those small notches to help with removing them to apply replacements later. I've been using this mouse for about a week or so and I found the sensor to perform quite well without any noticeable tracking issues. Now the cord is what Extrify calls their easy cord. It's a nice braided cloth feeling material but it's not quite as flexible as a true parrot cord. Overall for $59.99 the M4 is a worthy competitor in the wired mouse space. It's a no nonsense design that does away with the unnecessary frills of dedicated softwares or extra buttons. The grip feels natural for most hand sizes and the sensor and buttons all perform well. If you're a right handed mouse user and you don't mind the look of the Swiss cheese mice then this should definitely be on your radar. Well that about wraps it up for this one guys. Let me know down in those comments below what you think about the M4 and of course if you enjoyed this video you can give it a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos from me. You can also follow me on Twitter at BrainBean Gaming. That's where I do all of my giveaway announcements as well as just kind of keep you guys up to date with what's going on on the channel. But as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.